Hello, and welcome to Rolling with the Punches. I'm your host, Spike. Last week, we talked about my creative process, and the first step was the idea. Well, my whole thing was <clears throat> I was going to paint you a painting step by step, and I realized that took 40 minutes, and YouTube would not let me download it. So here we are, and I am going to go through my creative process, but I'm going to do it just a little bit different. Um, first of all, last week, I chucked a canvas behind me. I want to let you know, don't chuck a canvas behind you in your art room. It's not a good idea. As a result, I damaged one of my paintings that I've been working on. This is just a small 6x6, six six, but I have... 16 of these things behind me and I've been working on a large painting. As a result, my nice little 4x4 four four hit the canvas and ruined it. As a result, the canvas talks to you. Hello? I have cotton mouth. Anyway, so don't do that. Okay, my creative process is I get an idea. Then I decide, do I want to paint the sides and prime the top of it? Or do I just want to start with a blank canvas and go from there? Or do I want to paint the sides and leave the front untouched. So those are decisions that you have to make in order to start my process. Then you have to decide, am I gonna do oils? Am I gonna do acrylics? And that all, all depends on really what I'm going to be doing. Um, sunsets, I like to paint the background black put some oil paint, and then um, put white over that and create the sunset that way. Uh, Bob Ross used to do that technique. Um, if I want to paint something like this, I can just do that in acrylics. And as you notice, I wrapped that around as well. So, that's in acrylics, or I could get real creative and have a little 4x4 four four with a 2 inch circle and create something like this. This is also in, in oils. So. But my process is simple, you get the idea find out what kind of paint I want to use, whether I'm going to paint the sides or if I'm going to wrap the painting around the sides, and then I just paint. Now, like I said last week, um, the original idea usually is not the idea that you come up with. It's not the end product. And that's okay because our minds are creative, and as you go, you're going to see, see things, you're going to get ideas on what to do next, how to improve it, but usually you start with those things. Here's the other one I've been working on, and that's not finished yet. I'm going to do a prairie scene on the bottom with something special like maybe a windmill or or a silhouette of a tractor I'm not sure yet but and these are just my four by fours I also do six by sixes eight by tens five by sevens uh, 11 by 14 16 by 20 and 18 by 24 um, so I have to determine what size I want to do as well and then I just create and 
that is my creative process in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Oh, wait a minute. By the way, <clears throat> excuse me. My wheelchair is now fixed. A friend of mine fixed the wheel. He locked tight. He lock washered it. He created a uh, he bought a new bolt for it. That thing ain't coming off. The only concern now I have is if I have to change my wheel, how am I going to do that? But anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And watch for the funny video at the end of this video. I'm always doing some crazy stuff. And until next time, keep rolling with the punches. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening?